May. All right. After this debate, we've concluded that we win because, first of all, although you attack our Second Amendment saying that, oh, the Constitution is flexible, our main point was that the Second Amendment was written with the populace in mind, that the people may defend themselves, while your argument with the three-fifths of a man thing was written by white landowners that were concerned that they wouldn't get enough votes in government. So I really have no idea why that would stand against the Second Amendment, which was written for people to defend themselves against people with less than honorable intentions. The second reason why we win is that the ban is ineffective. But instead of looking at, okay, let's first look at weapons. Assault weapons, when they are banned, it's like, oh, the, the people can't use assault weapons to attack us anymore. However, assault weapons, since they are bigger, tend to have a longer chambering mechanism, and because of that, tend to shoot not as rapidly as, as handguns. A person with a handgun can shoot faster than a person with an assault weapon because assault weapons are not allowed to be fully automatic. Additionally, what depends on the lethality is not the gun, it's the bullet to use. I can have a tiny revolver that uses a hollow point bullet, I can shoot you and it can open a hole the size of a dinner plate in your chest while you shoot me with your M16, it punches through my lung, out the other side, I have a hole, I'm bleeding, but I live. Now, what is more lethal, the bullet or the gun? Looking at the gun, you think, oh, it's a pistol smaller than my palm, maybe I'll lose. However, you're taking the wrong tool into the wrong effect. The third reason why we win is that guns can be used to defend yourself. We did reply to your argument that statistics say that people with guns die more easily because we didn't really think it was worth replying to. Time.